What's up guys? It's Shelly. In today's video, we are going over the layback and I'm gonna give you kind of the progression of how layback goes. So before we even get started in this layback video, I want you to click on that link. It's somewhere up here. It's either over here or over here. I don't know where, it's somewhere. But click that link. It's all about your basic spin entry because before we even do layback, we need to make sure that we have a nice strong spin entry and set position so we're able to control this layback. Layback is one of the most difficult spins that you learn and it's just because of the fact that your, your head is literally not upright. You're laying it back and you're almost in a way upside down or you feel upside down when you're doing the layback. So that's where it kind of gets a little bit difficult to control your body and also feel balanced. So that set position is super important. That spin entry is key. So check that out. Um, we're also gonna obviously talk about that a little bit here in this video as well. But without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna jump right in to this layback. All right, when we first start this layback, we need to gain that flexibility in our back. So how do we do this? In order to do this, all you really need to do is during your practice, go to the boards. When you go to the boards, you are gonna stand facing the boards, hips on the board, hold on with two hands, and you're gonna let your back lay back. So from basically your waist all the way up to your head, you're just gonna make almost like a C position with your back. I want you to really focus on what you are seeing as you're bending back. So when you first start to bend back, you're gonna see the ceiling of the rink and then as you bend back more and more, you're gonna to start to see the stands of the rink and then you will be seeing the boards on the other side of the rink that you're on. That's your goal is to lay back more and more and get that flexibility of the back bend to see more what's across from you from the rink, if that makes sense. Once we start getting comfortable with the back bend position for the layback on the wall, now we're gonna start to add the free leg to this position to help a little bit more with that flexibility. So when you go into this back bend position now, before you bend back, you're gonna get your free leg into that layback position. So I want you guys to think of how your leg is placed in a stroke on a back diagonal. It's gonna be pretty much almost the same way for the layback. The only difference is you're gonna have a slight bend in the knee, then of course, obviously, you're gonna lay back. So when you get into that position, you're gonna push your hips forward against the boards, get that leg up. You should be really feeling that glute. So the leg that's lifting, so if you're lifting your right leg, your right glute should really be working. You will feel a pinch, you will feel it burn a bit. It's gonna be a little bit painful at first because you're getting used to this position. Keep that, lift that leg up, almost like you're lifting it high for a stroke, but with a slight bend. And that free leg from the knee to the foot. So you wanna have that nice position with that free leg. And then from there, you're gonna let your back bend backwards into that full layback position. So this is gonna be the best way for you to kinda of get used to the position and get comfortable with the position by just doing it on the wall. Once you get this positioning on the wall and you work on that flexibility on the wall and getting comfortable, the next step is to do a spin called called the attitude spin. With this spin, we are going to do a layback, but we're not gonna lay all the way back. So when you're going into the spin, you're gonna go into your regular normal spin entry. This is where that set position is gonna be very important. In a layback, if you are traveling in your spin, it's gonna be very difficult for you to hold that layback position. Keep in mind that set position is super important. This is where you get your centering for your spin and that you have to really pay attention to pressing your body weight onto the rocker or ball of the foot of your skating leg. When we do this attitude, you're gonna go up into your regular set position. I want you to put your hands on your hips. You are going to bend that, le that extended leg back into the leg back position. You're gonna push your hips forward and you're gonna actually let your back lay back just a little bit. You're gonna keep your head up though, so that way you could keep balance. But this is to kind of slowly get you ready for that layback position. I will say you could do a couple of arm positions. You could either put your hands on your hips 
and think about pushing your thumbs forward on the back of your hips so your hips push forward. You can also put your hands on your lower back or right above the hips and push your hands forward to bring those hips forward. You could also put your arms just in front here. So if I'm going into my position, I could be here and then push my hips forward in order to do that attitude spin. This attitude's all about just getting used to centering, getting that free leg position for the layback, and of course starting to go into the layback itself. Once you get really comfortable with your attitude, I wanna challenge you then to start laying back more and more. Don't worry about laying your head back, but start to really try to lay back more and more. And make sure you guys, when you guys are practicing this, record yourself so you can see what you're doing. That's gonna be huge for you because you're gonna notice, you're gonna hit a point in this attitude spin where you're literally hitting full on layback, but just your head's up. Once your head's up, all you have to do is drop that chin back and you'll finish that nice C position, so to speak, for this layback. So your back wants to make kind of like a C shape when you're doing the layback. So as you're going into the attitude and as it's feeling more and more comfortable, you're getting used to that free leg position, start to drop your head back little by little until you get comfortable, of course, and you'll eventually get into the layback. When you're doing the attitude position and the layback, one of the biggest things that skaters struggle with is that free hip. Make sure that free hip is slightly open. If you close up that free hip, then the free leg position for the layback will not be where it should. So you wanna really make sure you're keeping that hip open, but do not drop it so much to where it's gonna pull you away from your centering. So this is where layback's also tricky is you're laying back, your hips open, and at the same time, you're supposed to be centering over your left side when you're being pulled to your right side and backwards. So this, this layback's pretty difficult. But if you do it in all these steps, you'll have it and your body will get used to it and it'll be no problem for you. Then once you get used to this attitude, go for layback. When you do this layback, we need to talk about arm positions too because there's a lot of different arm positions that we can do with layback. Things for a lot of skaters with the layback is where do they put their arms? Where is a good position to where the skater is comfortable in the layback and it looks comfortable? When you're first starting layback too, if you're not too sure on the arms, keep your hands on your hip. From there, then you can kind of play with the arms. And here's some arm positions that you can try. Your basic layback position is arms above the head here. So with our arms above the head, this is also a big thing that happens with a lot of people as they lay back. So they're going into their layback, their arms are here. You need to make sure your arms are up. Wasn't that lovely? But make sure you bring your arms up so when you go in that layback, even though you're, you might feel like your arms are up, you might have to pull them up. Almost feel like you're pulling them behind your head in a way in order to achieve the perfect position for the layback. This is also where recording your practices and your elements is gonna be huge because then you can kind of see what's going on with the arms. Another great arm position, if you don't like having both arms up, oh, I better switch back. If you don't like having both arm positions up, put, your right hand, or left if you're lefty, put your right hand, fingertips on the chest, and keep the arm up in position. So elbow is gonna be up, arm up here, and then do your layback. Another great position that you can do, right, if you are a righty, lefty would be opposite, take your right hand, take your fingertips, put it on your opposite shoulder, then you're gonna take your left hand, fingertips on, opposite hip, elbows up, and then you're gonna lay back in that position, okay? So that's another position that you can do with lay back. The next position that you can also do is both arms behind as you lay back. So they're gonna be here. So that one might be a little bit more uncomfortable. Some people really love it, but it might be uncomfortable for you. This is why you need to try out different arms because everyone's different, everyone likes a different arm. Sometimes certain things work for them when others don't. You gotta switch it up. Last arm 
If you really want to be fancy, arms above the head here. And as you're laying back and doing the spin, you're going to take your arms and you're going to open them and bring them down as you're spinning. That one's really cool. That is the progression of layback. With this layback, you can also do other things. This is the traditional layback where we just kind of bend back and where our shoulders and our hips are square, but laying back. There's also a side layback. You could go into, from there, a hair cutter. You could go into a Beelman spin. So there's a lot of different things that this can develop into and turn into. Keep working on that flexibility of your back. You could do this at home. You could do this on the ice. Do bridges off ice. That's definitely gonna help you. Also, work on your Beelman's on and off ice. That will help with the flexibility of your back as well. And I want you guys to comment below. Let me know if you are working on layback. Let me know also if there's any other things that you're looking for um, element-wise. I'm thinking about trying to break down more basics of skating. If your fundamentals are strong, then your skating's gonna be strong. I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, happy skating.